And when do you think is going to be the right time to unleash Doomsday? Been... Oh, I don't know. Well, those are the, those are the questions. I mean, we have so many. That does. That, let's just say that in the Superman um, universe, there are a lot of great uh, villains and heroes, and um, the DC universe is rich. You know, and that, that's look. You know, that's a thing that I hope you know you sort of get a sense of from the movie, even with my little kind of Easter eggs of LexCorp or whatever. That at least y you can tell that. Um, the DC universe, at least, is a thing that I feel like exists within this movie. You know what I mean? Like when you watch Chris's movies, which are amazing, whether or not the rest of the DC universe exists, you know, probably there is. If anything, you think the opposite because you just, you know, it's like, look, this is a Batman movie, which is really perfect for those films. But um, I really wanted to just say in the subtlest way that no, it's okay, you know, for the rest of the DC universe to exist within this world. I'd like Bizarro Superman, I'd like, like two Henrys, that would be, that's what I'd like. Um, <laughs> sorry, just had to go there, Amy. Um, but uh, yeah, Doomsday would be cool, be cool. I think it would it'd be fun even though Lex has been played to sort of introduce that character. There'd be a lot of fun stuff. You know, I, I know that there was a whole Death of Superman thing. I don't know when those comic books came out, though. I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't get into comic books. I know, I, I guess it should be mandatory, right? If you're going to be a Man of Steel, you should have at least 500 comic books at home or something. But I just never. Yeah, when did, when did they come out? Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't. Um, if Doomsday happens, which I really hope he does, yeah, I think that would be awesome.